concert house in Vara, a small town in the western Sweden region. I'm on a project with the uh, Vagus uh, Youth Orchestra. Uh, I'm playing some bits from Shostakovich's second piano concerto, this project. So I've just been practicing a bit and now we're having a rehearsal. And it's a project where we do this for like uh, uh, school kids. So it's a lot of uh, presentation on the stage with presenters um, playing some parts from Shostakovich's life and history. And it's a really good like story uh, narrative. Uh, so I'm actually coming in on stage as Shostakovich's son, Maxim, because he dedicated the piano concerto to his son. Uh, so we're having rehearsals now. Uh, they're actually rehearsing, I think, the other part of the program that I'm not part in. I'll show you. They're doing Strauss, I think. Brahms double concerto. They're really good. The guy's playing Brahms double concerto. So I'm at the hotel now. Just finished rehearsing for the afternoon. We played through the program like two times. The first time, not all the musical stuff, uh, but all the presentations, so the, uh, we know what's going on on the stage. And then the second time, a full dress rehearsal. So now I have like two, two and a half hours before the concert premiere tonight. So I'm at the hotel room, uh, chilling and resting to, to be full of energy. Like I'm, so I'm coming on and playing these excerpts of Shostakovich's second piano concerto, and it's like so much energy right on that I we're we're playing only like the the uh, last half of the first and third movements and second movement, and in the first movement, I'm like we're starting right before the cadenza, so then I'm coming in with a cadenza of like one minute of really high energy and these staccato notes that I just realize I need to. It's easy to get too, too much uh, in the air when I'm playing because I want the staccato but then it, the risk is to get sloppy so I need to be really be in touch with the piano and like the piano is in the middle of the orchestra because it's so much going on so there's no lid on the piano so I get less sound than I would so I need to play uh, more force on the keys to, to sound a bit. So there's some challenges in this, but it's a really good show. Uh, it's called Shostakovich and Stalin, so they're telling the story of how it was in Soviet Russia for the whole of Shostakovich's lifetime from beginning uh, to end. So I'm gonna rest now for a bit and then uh, we have the premiere. Yeah, just finished premiere. Mm. It went well. It's such a good show. Uh, it's such high energy throughout it. Oh, and I'm tired. It's been a long day. And uh, yeah, well, I started yesterday. We had rehearsal. Oh, great music, though. and I'm waiting for we have two shows today at 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock so it's so much time this rehearsal and then wait and then concert and then wait and it's just going you know surviving the day now it's one hour wait can't really do anything because I need to preserve the energy for the concert so just having a coffee 
I'm resting, thinking about my beats or whatever. Concert starts in five minutes or something. I'm gonna have my entry from the back in this show. So this is where I'm gonna go in. Just finished last concert here at Gothenburg Concert House and it went well today too. <laughs> Yesterday I played on electric piano and it went kind of bad because it's so hard to yeah everything the sound and I it was so so little space and I sat it was crowded. Today it's a great grand piano. It was a little bit too bright in the high register though but uh, but still I managed to to pull it off the, the cadenza in the first movement, that's so hard. Mm -hmm. 